Moolah Law is brought to you by the nonprofit credit counseling agency, Credit Canada, and by Home Equity Bank, provider of the CHIP reverse mortgage. We talk a lot about retirement on this show, but our next guest actually doesn't love, love, love that word. Patricia Lovett-Reed is Home Equity Bank's first chief financial commentator, and this follows a long and storied career as the chief financial commentator for CTV News and executive roles in the financial services sector for a very long time. She joins me now to talk about this new role and her five R's of retirement, R's of retirement, a (laughs) word she does not like. Patty, hello and welcome. Hi, Bruce. And tell me about this role at Home Equity Bank. I, she, I mean, you might not like the idea of retirement, but you've earned it. You don't need another role. You can retire. Okay, fair enough. Yes, you're absolutely right. It's not about the money. It's never been about the money. Yeah. So, you know, I don't like the word retirement. Have you ever looked it up in the dictionary? I'm sure it's I some have. horrible thing. What is it, what is it uh, derived from? Uh, you know, to become reclusive, to disappear. <laughs> That's what I want to do with the next third of my life. Uh-huh. No. And you know what? I've talked to so many people. No one wants to, you know, disappear, not have a presence, not be living their best life. But I also think um, it's a gift if you can continue to do what you love to do. And, and honestly, I'm at a stage now where I'm collecting not one, but two pensions. And so, yeah, it's good. It's, it's great. But I, um, you know, I like the word rewire, rewirement. Rewirement, I, okay. I, I did not coin it, but I embraced it because I do think the next big thing is around the corner. And in my role, what I believe is that if I can help just one person out financially through whatever avenue, whatever venue, then, then I want to do it. And so that's mm-hmm. fulfilling to me. So yes, I made the decision. They called it retirement. I called it mm, life's next steps. But uh, the three o'clock, 3am wake up call, it was exhausting. After a decade, it just got to be too much. Yeah, I couldn't, I could barely do it for two weeks at a time. And we share our disdain for the word retirement. In my second book, I called it the post paycheck phase, because there was a time in which we earn paychecks. And there's a time that we don't earn a paycheck, right. but I think requirements got more of a, more of a buzz to it. Now you have the five R's. Arr. It, I, I reference <laughs> um, like the pirates of Caribbean. Cause it's like, arr, arr, yeah, um, yeah mine's a little softer. <laughs> you're so that everything about you is softer and more delightful. I am abrasive. I'm too much. You're kind and warm and have you seen my grace. Instagram? <laughs> I've been told I am very, very, very extra. Oh, very extra. Very extra. <laughs> they may just be talking about your shoes because your shoes are mm. pretty extra on Instagram, but you're gorgeous in every single one of those photos. Even the ones where you're like, you know, ex- Instagram real, you're still gorgeous. <laughs> uh, okay. You five really R's. Do follow me. Yes. Uh, well, I listen, I'm, I'm social media savvy. So reassess is okay. number one. What do you mean by reassess? Reassess where you're at emotionally and financially. Are you ready to enter into retirement? Do you have a very clear picture? Are you razor sharp on your numbers? Um, Are you counting on the government? Sure, government's going to be there, but it was never intended to fund all of our retirement. And so I often think, okay, how am I going to supplement it? Some people will have saved. They'll use RSPs, tax-free savings accounts. Others will turn a passion into a a retirement hustle, not a side hustle, but something that supplements. Others are thinking part-time work. We're going to talk a little bit about those who have really poured all of their equity into their home and maybe decide to take some of that money off the table, not all of it, a portion of it, to fund their retirement. Mm. Reward. Reward (laughs) is our number two. I like the sound of that. You know what? Here's the deal. You know, I got this from my mother. She very proudly, and mom's 89, um, claimed to me, made a bold statement. I've not spent a dime of your father's money since he passed away. And I said, oh, I didn't know you had separate bank accounts. And she said, no, we don't. But, you know, that's the money from his retirement and dot, dot, dot. Was, and I said, whoa, 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 back up, mama. This is your money. And 
if you don't spend your money, if you don't enjoy your money, guess what? Your heirs will. I will. I'm going to go out and buy something. And she looked at me and she said, oh, and I said, it's your money. It's your life. Bruce, when I was at my uh, mother-in-law's funeral, uh, this was about 15, almost 20 years ago. A lovely lady came up. She was a former colleague of Marg's. Uh, they were nurses. And she said, can I, are you open to some advice, Patty? I said, always. Mm -hmm. And she said, your golden years are right now. And then I said, oh, you mean don't wait until later in life to do all the things that we talk about? Mm -hmm. And she said, well, sort of. The problem is we don't know just how long we have. So I don't care if you're 20, that's your golden moment. If you're 40, if you're 50, I don't want you to spend as if there's no tomorrow, but I don't want you to save until it hurts. It's not an either or Bruce. It's an and you do both. Reunite. You have, yes. what do you have grandbabies now? Is this accurate? Oh my, well, yeah, but I, well, yeah. Are they yeah. a part of your unite? Your <laughs> you don't have to be apologetic about the fact that you have grandchildren. Oh my goodness. Yes, I do. I have four little boys under the age of three, another on the way in <sighs> September. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going for the soccer team. It's going to work. But here's what people will tell me when it comes to retirement. What do they look forward to in retirement? Spending time with their family. Mm -hmm. What do they worry about most in retirement, Bruce? Spending time with their family. You know, it's about having a balance. And so you know, reuniting, it's, it's doing what you want, how you want, and figuring it out. And, and once again, retirement's not one long golf court, golf game. I, I work and I continue to work. And you know what, Bruce, you've done this before. And I take my hat off to you. I have never not worked for a large corporation on a full-time basis. Mm. I just never have. Mm. I've never been an entrepreneur. I've never gone out and hustled. I, I've, I'm doing that now. And I, I kind of feel like a champion. Like, yeah. I'm like, what? You, you, you want to hire me? What? And then they'll say for how much? And I go, well, what do you think? No, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'll give you some lessons on how to ask for a bigger uh -huh. speaking fee, Patty. <laughs> I will. Okay. Your next. I just say yes to all the free <laughs> just, ones. <laughs> right. Your next R is restructure. Yes. So uh, when you ask people, what do they miss most about um, working? They will say their socialization, the orientation and the structure to their day. Mm -hmm. I get that a little bit because um, you're, you're, what day is it? And what am I supposed to be doing? What I did before I literally woke up this morning and it was 5 a.m. And I'm so used to getting up at 3 a.m. For a minute there, I thought, am I late? No, you're not late. You don't have to be anywhere. So it's okay. That was a sleep in, mister. But you know, the restructuring of your day takes some work. We have planned for every other element of our life, mm -hmm. like in terms of how we're going to do it, what we're going to do it, when we're going to do it. Somehow this whole rewirement, um, you know, we don't give it quite as much thought in a lot of cases as maybe we should reposition is number five number and i five. think it should be number one you okay. know where i'm going with this it's your portfolio <laughs> um you know people have said there's been conventional wisdom guess what you should probably be a lot more conservative put your money into a guaranteed investment certificate you may decide to put it uh sit in cash Look at inflation right now. We could do a whole show on inflation mm -hmm. and how to get around it. Um, you look at the national average. Well, there's nothing average about inflation in a household. Each household spends their money how they spend their money. And they may be, my mother said, once again, I bring up my mother. Have you seen the price of gas? I said, yeah, I do. Why are you watching? You don't drive. Mm -hmm. And she goes, oh, I know, but I feel for everybody else. Like, you know, so there are different people who spend on different things. And in retirement, you'll see a shift in composition of where you're spending your money. But I do believe you could spend, you know, a third of your life in retirement, maybe 30 years. And, and then some, if you're lucky, depending on your health, of course, but you don't want to err on the side of caution where your money doesn't keep up with inflation. So good quality investments, you do need some money in the stock market, in my mm. opinion. And on the other side of it, you need to tuck away your living expenses in mere cash or cash equivalents for 
in a perfect world, maybe three years, mm. but at least six months to a year. So you're not selling out at the wrong time. The five R's, reassess, reward, reunite, restructure, and reposition all with Patty Lovett Reed. Thank you, Patricia. Oh, ooh, we're being I know, formal I know. I decided now. I'd finish with formal or maybe just like um, the diversity of names that we could uh, refer Pat, to. Patsy, with. PLR. Pat, Pat, didn't you, didn't you used to call me PLR? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> I probably Bruce, did in official memos. Thank you memos. for having me on. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Patty Lovett-Reed is the chief financial commentator at Home Equity Bank.